Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today what I have for you is some important information. Um, some information that I wish I knew about my hair when I originally did a big chop like four years ago, three years ago. So, one thing that I'm starting to realize after reading different type of books about natural hair and how to take care of your hair, I'm realizing that it's important to know your hair type, your hair texture, so you can understand which type of products are going to work good in your hair, um, so you can at least have that so you can at least have something in mind so when you go and buy your products, when you're trying to figure out um, the route you want to go with your hair. So, what I'm going to do for you guys today, I'm going to talk about the different hair types slash textures. Now, all this information I actually got offline. Um, one thing I will say, if you're like me in your natural hair journey, and if you are impatient as I am, um, I would definitely say not only watch YouTube videos, but actually research, as in look online and read books. Because I'm just now understanding that, like I was skipping steps with my natural hair. So hopefully this, this video is going to be helpful for you guys. Um, I plan on doing more videos like this as my hair grows longer and as I learned myself with how products work in my hair. The way the the way that the the category categories work, they start from one. Now anybody, if you start off at one, that's with someone that has just straight hair. A one, a one is someone that has straight hair. So when you go to number two, as the numbers increase, the hair gets more wavier. The curls just progress. They they start off with waves and they turn into quails and they turn into more of a zigzag type of more tighter curls, zigzag type of um, curls. That's a, I think that's the best way I can explain it. Okay, so 2A is someone that has wavy hair. Okay, so the way they describe it is type 2A is gently, slightly S-wave hair that's, that sticks close to the head. It won't bounce up even when it's laid. 2A hair tends to be fine, thin, and very easy to handle. It is also generally easy to straighten or curl. Type 2A hair tends to have quite a bit of shine. Your best bet is to use lighter products such as mousses, lotions, or gels that enhance the curls, but do not weigh them down. So, people with 2A hair, you want to use something that's a little bit light and not on the heavy side because your hair is thin, a little bit limp. So, if you add more products to your hair, of course, it's going to weigh your hair down. Now, 2B is just, just a slight more waving. So, 2B, with this type of with this type, the wave or curl forms throughout the hairline in the shape of a letter S. Type 2B sticks close to the head. It won't bounce up even when it's, when it's layered. Type 2B often has a nice sheen, is a bit more wavy, bit more wave than, than type 2A has. This hair is a little resistant to styling and has a tendency to frizz up. Use lighter products such as mousses, gels that enhance the curls but do not weigh them down. So once you get to the 2B, that's when people with their hair is a little more frizzier. As you know, people with curly hair, the hair tends to frizz up. So once you get to 2B, that's when the frizz starts coming along. Now, all this information I actually got from naturallycurly.com. I'm reading it directly from the printout. And I put that link below. It starts kind of looking like a curl, but it's not it's not yet like a curl it's still it's just deeper it's just deeper waves once you get to to C. so with 2c is a coarser wavy hair that is composed of few more actual curls as opposed to waves type 2c hair tends to be more resistant to styling and will frizz easily type 2 waves tend to use a lot of gel to style and manage frizz so the way they're explaining it that people with curly hair um people with 2c hair the hair is wavy and they have some curls mixed in and the hair tends to frizz more okay so in number two there's subcategories so it's a b and c so once you get to c you actually jump to the next number which is three so now we're going to 3a so 3a now, type 3A curls show a definite loopy S. 
pattern curls are well defined and springy. Curls are naturally big, loose, and often very shiny. 3A curls circum circumference are sidewalk chalk size. And generally this type of hair can be easily straightened. 3A hair is much of much affected by the climate, type 3 curlies can use a variety of styling products to achieve curl form and definition. People with 3A hair, their curl curls are probably about this big. Their curls are pretty, pretty round curls. Now, people with 3B hair have well-defined springy, copious curls that range from bouncy ringlets to tight Screws. 3B hairs, circumference are sharpie size. Type 3 hair can be straightened, but it's definitely a chore. Type 3 ha type, type 3B hair generally isn't harsh, particularly shiny, and its texture can be quite coarse. Gels, creams work best to reduce frizz and, and add definition. A little bit more tighter. So the curls are actually the size, the way they're explaining it, the curls are actually the size of a sharpie. Type is. So 3C hair is, they call it curly coily. So type 3C hair has voluminous tight curls and corkscrews approximately the circumference of a pencil or a straw. The curls can be either kinky or very tight, tightly curled with lots and lots of strands densely packaged together. Getting this strand densely packed, getting this type of hair to blow dry straight more is more challenging than 3A or 3B but it usually can be done. The very tight curls are usually fine in texture. Now, because I'm still trying to figure out what my hair type is, right now I'm I'm kind of thinking, well, with the um, with my hair, I'm kind of thinking I'm a 3C, but I'm still not sure yet. But along with that, we're talking more, I'm gonna go into more detail once I go tell you more about the different hair types. Once you get to number four, that's when the hair curls are getting more zigzag shape and not not more so the curl shape. They're kind of getting more springy type of the springy type of look. So the next one is 4A, coily springy. So type 4A is tightly curled, tightly coiled hair that is in an S-shaped pattern. It's more moisture and it has more moisture than 4B. It is also it it has a definite curl pattern. The circumference of the sprout is close to that of a crochet needle. The hair can be wiry or fine texture. It is very fragile with lots of strands densely packaged together. Type 4 has fewer cuticle layers than other hair types, which means it is less natural protectant from da damage. Which means it has less natural protection from damage. Once you get into the 4s, you're pretty much talking about people that have that are African descent or African. So that's one thing with um, our hair is that our hair is is a lot more coily, but you have to take care of it a lot more because it's not as strong as the people with hair that are in the 2A through C. So once you get to 4B, the hair is no longer coils or curls. It's more of a Z, a zigzag type of um, pattern. Um, it's saying that 4B hair often shrinks up to 75% of their actual length. So people with 4 with 4B hair, like if your hair is, your hair can pretty much be to your shoulder when you pull it out. For people with 4B hair, the hair shrinks a lot. Okay, and their hair absor absorbs a lot of product as well. Again, 4C is similar to 4B, but it's a lot more difficult to handle because the hair, it shrinks and the, the, the coils are, not coils, the Z pattern is a little bit more compact and packed in together. Well, this year, what your hair type is, um, you guys can figure out which type of products that you would like to use in your hair. Coming videos, I plan on showing you guys the products that I'm trying. Um, one thing that I've learned that with my hair type, using leave-in conditioner, conditioner is definitely gonna help define the curl pattern. I hope this video was helpful. Um, I plan on doing some more hair journey videos with you guys. And so please stay tuned. Um, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, brownbeauty808. Follow me on Twitter, brownbeauty808. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.